Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello, Jenny. How are you doing? <laughs> I I'm wait for the class. <laughs> you are waiting for the class. That is so nice that you are early connected. Thank How was you. your weekend? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, honey. How are you? I was fine. I'm nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. You were I doing fine. fine. Uh -huh. Tell me, Jenny. I was festive. <laughs> <laughs> really? In the morning, Saturday in the morning, rested all the morning. Ah, that's <laughs> nice. I in the afternoon I went to the supermarket. And in in the in Sunday, I went to the church with my family. And in the afternoon, I I have a I had a party. <laughs> Celebrated. Oh, you had a party. That's so nice. Celebrated my nephew, my nephew's birthday. Birthday. You celebrated your nephew's birthday. Hey, that is so beautiful. It is so nice that, that you actually have this chance to celebrate and, and actually put, enjoy with your family, right? I, guess. I really love those, those celebrations. They are very nice. Okay, that's so great that you had the opportunity to celebrate with your family. What about you, Regina? What did you do on the weekend? Hi, teacher. Hi. I was uh, the celebrate the, the happy day, the birth of my daughter. Okay, I and celebrated. You say, I celebrated I only celebrated. one birth. I celebrated uh, the... Uh, and my daughter's birthday. My daughter's birthday. Very good job. I celebrated my daughter's birthday. Yeah. Great. What else did you do? Um, I I eating. Oh, I eat. I ate. I ate the um, the pollo, the, 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 the Kentucky. <laughs> Kentucky chicken. I don't like it, but I my daughter would like it. Oh, okay. So you say I ate. Kentucky chicken. Ate. Yeah, you ate Kentucky chicken. Hey, that's so good. I love Kentucky chicken. It's very delicious. No, I don't like it. You don't like it? No, <gasps> oh like my it. god. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I really do. I really like it. So in that case, that's important, right? Those are details that we need to remember when we talk about past tenses, right? You say, I celebrated, I cook, I did, I visited, right? If we use, for example, we say, I was, you are going to use it, for example, you say like, I was busy, I was doing this, right? To yeah, use when, it. When the, you use, when the use was aware and the birth is in, is as the normal no, no no in this case if you use was or where uh, you are talking about something different for example uh, when you want to express how was your weekend and you say like my weekend was good i was busy i was working right you can use also the past continuous right i was working all saturday i was uh, doing homework i was cleaning my house right in that case you can use the second verb but if you say I was celebrated in that case, even. Okay, if you say like, I was celebrated, maybe because you, it was your birthday, right? Okay. Or you say, someone celebrated my birthday. You can use it in that way. But those are tips that we need to remember when we use past tenses, okay? Thank you, Regina, for sharing about your weekend. What about you, Katia? What did you do? How was your weekend? Uy, I cannot listen to you. No te puedo escuchar. No. This moment, teacher? Now, yes, I can listen to you. Okay, my weekend was awful. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Why? Because I was lining the children notebooks. Ah, I was covering. Uh, what? I was I was covering, covering, ah, covering. my children's notebooks. My children's notebooks. Yes. 
I hate, I hate. <laughs> I do it. I, 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 don't, I don't charge that much, okay? Yo lo hago, no cobro que tan caro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do it. I mean, that's, that's entrepreneurship, definitely. There are places on which they, they give you the notebooks already covered. I like yeah. it. I like to do it, but I, there are some people who don't like it. I mean, well, I, I have I one here. <laughs> I don't like it, but because... I didn't exercise uh, running. For me, I like, and but I was boost, boosting. I, I was busy. You say I was busy. busy. I was busy for this. So you couldn't, you couldn't go running because you were covered in books. Oh my yes, God. Teacher. <laughs> and, yes, uh, and now in the different schools they say they need to be orange with this thing and with this muñeco with this thing. I know my god it is like in this moment in the in this moment no <sighs> <sighs> because I don't like the different colors <laughs> for me it's very ay hijo así llévatelo sin forra <laughs> yeah, no, there are some who, who are already covered, but they are very expensive. So teacher. we need to continue <laughs> covering them. Yes, teacher. Only no, that, teacher. Only that. Very good. Thank okay. you very much. And the okay, last teacher. one that I am going to get, I am going to get a boy. Brian Isaac, tell me about your weekend. How was it? Uh, good evening, uh, everyone. Hey. Uh, well, um, um, the on the weekend, well, uh, I was a little bit busy because with my wife, we, we went out uh, to do something, to buy uh, uh, something to eat. And after that, I visited my father. Um, that was on Sunday. Yeah. Um, okay. At the afternoon, well, we, we had a visit. Um, we watched uh, movies. Yeah. Okay, you watch movies. What movie did you watch? Uh, uh, Avatar one. Oh, okay, you watch. Yeah, Avatar. because yeah, I am looking for the second one, but uh, uh, there is there is not available. Okay, online. Uh, okay, there are a yeah, couple. Because, of... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Copyright. <laughs> I know. I know. There are a couple of difficulties because of the copyright, but. Uh, there is always a space to find it, right? If you have a good link, let, let us know. <laughs> Say no to, to, to piracy. <laughs> Díganle no a la piratería. Okay, but if you find a good link, let us know. <laughs> it, is always, it is always welcome, right? Well, thank you. It is a great happiness for me to see all your cameras on. I cannot only, uh, I am missing two people, Blanquita, Ronald, and Andrea. Well, three, in fact, that I cannot see the cameras, but I really like that I can see everybody on camera now. And now I can see Blanquita, I can see Ronald, and only Andrea Michelle. I am missing Andreita. Okay, smile, people. I will shoot a picture for all of you. You look very beautiful. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, you should see my view. I, I am going to send it to you in a second for you to see. Well, today it's our second week of work. And we are going to be covering a lot of different things, right? We are going to be covering a lot of different um, issues this week. We are going to finish working on units one and two on this week. But remember that the platform should be advancing, I mean, on your own piece, right? You have to advance as much as possible on the platform. So today we are going to work. We are going to work a little bit on it, and we are going to uh, to check a little bit on all the work that you are doing on the platform. Okay. So uh, by now you should be advancing on units one and two, on sections one and two, for a uh, for this first part. Remember that we all have access to the platform, I have access to it as your teacher and as your monitor. So it is very, very important that you keep working on all the different exercises, right? What is the advance that you have? Raise your hand if you finish section number one. Okay, very good. Hey, I love this camera thing that I can see everybody. Raise your hand if you finish section number two. 
Okay. Section three. Ah. <gasps> Good. <laughs> Section four. Oh, Anita, you finished the platform already. Almost. Yes, teacher. <gasps> A clap, for, a clap for Ana. Very good. Everybody, everybody. Todo. Un aplauso para yes. Anita. Very good job. Very good job. Es nuestra niña símbolo aquí del grupo. Yeah. Hashtag be like Ana. <laughs> be Ana, I will say. That, that will be the hashtag of the night. Very good job, Ana. Congratulations on that. So that's, that's good. I mean, you can keep advancing. That's the idea. You can keep advancing. Right now, I have Victoria here. Tengo Victoria de Inglés Corporativo que nos va a brindar un minutito de información. Así que todos ahí con sus camaritas encendidas para ponerle atención a Victoria. Hola, Victoria. Estamos pendientes todos. Ya. Hola, hola. Muy buenas noches a todos. Este es un minuto que les robo de su clase nada más para da darles, ¿verdad? Este recordatorio que es eh, necesario, ¿verdad? Que ustedes vayan al día con la plataforma educativa. Es importante. Recuerden que pueden ir avanzando. Eh, la teacher va apoyándolos, también solventando algunas actividades. Recuerden que ustedes están en completa libertad si consideran que algunas evaluaciones pues pueden ir avanzando, pueden hacerlo. Es mejor ir, a, ir adelantados que ir atrasados, ¿verdad? También recuerden que si se les presenta algún inconveniente en algún ejercicio, ustedes... Eh, por eso no pueden avanzar, estamos nosotros como gestores, estamos pendientes de su eh, progreso en la plataforma, pueden buscarnos, pueden solventar con nosotros, nosotros con gusto les estaremos ayudando. Nada más eso, gracias por el minuto, teacher, eh, pasen feliz noche. Muchas gracias, Victoria, muchas gracias. Eh, siempre es importante, así como les menciono, y pues eh, Vicky se los, está, se los está aclarando, siempre ustedes vayan adelante, ¿ok? Be like Ana, ahorita este es nuestro hashtag. <laughs> be like Ana. That would be great, ¿ok? So, thank you, thank you, uh, Victoria, for that very important message that uh, she gave us. ¿Ok? And, ¿ok? As I told you before, um, welcome to your class number five, and we are going to be working a little bit on the book and on the platform, ¿ok? All of you have the manual, Yes, right? ¿Ya todos descargaron el manual de estudio? Yes. Good. Very good job. Okay, so that's that's the important part, right? That you all have your material and that you are all making use of the platform. We only have one hour every day. Okay, take good advantage of this hour. Remember that it is the moment that you have to practice your English. It is the moment that you have to, uh, to speak with your friends, to practice, and to enhance your pronunciation, speaking, and fluency, okay? So, important things, camera on, and participation, right? For sure, advancement on the platform, it will be the most uh, beneficial thing, as, Vicky, as Victoria said, it's better for you to go uh, ahead on the platform than behind, okay? Okay, the job material, I am going to check it out right now with you. Okay, so let's go and check on the platform. Here we go, okay. Give me just a moment to open everybody, okay. As I was explaining you before, as I was explaining you a couple of weeks ago, the material to work on the platform is right here. Tan pronto entran a la plataforma, ustedes ven todo el contenido y ven todo este menú de aquí arriba. Entonces, aquí donde dice Students Manual, you click here. Okay, aquí le van a dar clic y ahí se le va a abrir el PDF. What you need to do is to save it on your computer. Yo lo que les recomiendo es que lo guarden en su computador. Aquí la opción se los da y dice aquí Download. You have to down, download it because once you have it on your computer, okay, cuando ya lo tengan en su computadora, ya lo descarguen, pueden trabajar en el libro. Okay, so th that's the good thing. If you have it on your computer, si se fijan, ahí yo ya lo descargo y lo que puedo hacer es, obviamente, es escribir en el libro. Right, aquí PDF les da las opciones que ustedes pueden marcarlo, ustedes pueden hacer el matching, de todo, pueden completar las oraciones con texto. So, you can work on the book. De ahí lo guardan y eso se les queda ahí listo. O sea, todos los ejercicios que usted vaya llenando le quedan ahí 
listos en el computador. ¿Ok? Y ya cuando se vuelve a abrir el libro, vuelve a abrir el mismo archivo, todo lo que usted ha llenado está en el archivo. ¿Ok? Esto es como, como algo que a mí me gusta hacer mucho, trabajar en el, en, el, en el libro cuando lo descargo y pues ya me quedan ahí las respuestas. So the book is there. We need to get the book here. ¿Ok? And important thing, here on the progress, we need to, eh, you can see how much you have advanced. Aquí en la, en la barra que dice progreso, ustedes pueden ir viendo, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es? Si hay alguno que tiene abajo de 80%, ¿qué ejercicio no terminamos? ¿Qué palabrita dejamos ahí sin completar? Check it out. Please check it out because everything has to be on 100. ¿Ok? So, those are things that I need you to keep in mind. In this first exercise that we have here, I am going to go over it. So we are all in the same track, right? We are all here in uh, the same thing. Okay, oh, sorry. Let me just go back here. I don't know what did I do. Oh, here it is. Okay, on the exercises, we did the first ones, right? And here we did this one on the class. We have the kiss. What was the option? The kiss. Who remembers that answer? What do you remember from this one? So fainting this by. Uh -huh. What fainting, fainting by? by uh, okay. okay. The Gustav kiss Klimt. was painted by Gustav Klimt. The song yesterday. The Beatles. Yeah, the Beatles. Was recorded, was by, was the Beatles. recorded the Beatles. by the Beatles. Complete <laughs> answers, remember, was recorded by the Beatles. <laughs> the film Schindler's, Schindler's List. Was directed by Steven Was Spielberg. directed by Steven Spielberg. Very good job. The novel Pride and Prejudice. Writing. Was. Was. Your Ryan, 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 por la luz. De ópera Carmen. Ay, no. De ópera Carmen. Was composed by George Bisset. Was composed by George Bisset. Good. There you go. So, there you go. There you have it. So, that's the first exercise on this one. The second one, we did it together, right? We did it together when we were fighting about the passive voice and say, like, what is the first sentence? Can you help me to read the first sentence? Many crops. Many crops are grown in Taiwan. Are grown, right? Grown. Grown. In Taiwan. In Taiwan. What about the next one? Some crops. Are consumed locally. Locally, no. Locally. 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 Okay, the next one. <coughs> uh, other crops. Other crops are exported. Are exported, right? Are exported. Eh, the next one, number four, rice. Rice. School is Warmer parts. Warmer parts. Okay, rice is cultivated <laughs> in warmer parts. Very good. Warm what about number five? Okay, it's cut. 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 Right. Cut. 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 A wide variety Cut. of seafood. Do, do you like seafood, people? Yes. 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 <laughs> I yes. don't. I don't like when the when the food is looking at me. I don't like that. <laughs> you see the animal just like, don't eat me, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> oh, seafood, seafood. Yeah, you can see the you can see the the, the shells that are like no, don't eat me, please. And people still eat them. That's so terrible. But anyway, let's continue. Many people, 
Many people are loyal. Industries. But you say employed or employed? Employed. Employed. Another Larousse. Employed. Okay. French and English. So Larousse. French and English are spoken in Canada. Very good. Canada. What about the next one? Number eight. The U.S. The U.S. Okay, the U.S. is made up of 50 states. Very good job. Number nine. A lot of people in New Zealand, Zealand, New right? Zealand. Zealand. New Zealand. And the last one, cars and computers. Cars and computers. In Korea. Are manufactured Korea. in Korea. In Korea. Very Korea. good job. Korea. So that is the section number one, right? It's basically it, right? And here we have a, another exercise that it's about the museums, right? A guide to unusual museums. Here you have the Kinchi Museum, the Museum of Gold, and the Chocolate Museum. Which one would you like to visit, people? From these three places, which one would you like to go? To the Kinchi Museum, to the Museum of Gold, or to the Chocolate Museum? Oh. Chocolate museum. Chocolate. chocolate museum. Chocolate. The chocolate museum, right? <laughs> because mm, imagine, but I, I, I don't know. Imagine if you see a lot of chocolate, maybe at the end you are not going to be like mm, on the mood for chocolate. It will be like, I know, no more, right? A little oh. bit more, a little bit more. Everybody eating chocolate there. But it, it will be very interesting. So, when you go off the beaten path, you, what is the meaning of that? To go off the beaten path. It means that you do something unusual or do you go somewhere far away? Do something, something unusual. unusual. Do something unusual. Okay, when you do something, something, something unusual. 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 Unusual, right? Unusual. When you go off the beaten path, okay, what okay. what happens? And I and I think you have seen this in El Salvador a lot. Quienes han ido, por ejemplo, al campo, se han fijado que hay como caminitos ya marcados. And you say like, no, si yes. aquí por, por todo este monte nos vamos ya en el caminito. Have you seen it? La vereda. Yes. Exactly yes. like that. But that is made because someone is doing that every day, okay? Tuvieron que pasar miles de veces por el mismo pedacito para que se marcara el camino. When you go on the beaten path, okay, the beaten path is ese camino marcado that you say, no, you have to, to be born, then you study, then you go to the university, you get married, you have family, and then you die. That's the beaten path, okay? Ese es como el tramo que está de vida, ¿verdad? Nace, crece, se reproduce, se casa, se muere. But in some cases you say, no, I am going to do something different. I am going to study English at night, not in the morning, not in the normal school, online. But you say like, no, pero mira que cuesta. I will do it. You go off the beaten path because you do something unusual. When something is founded, when something is founded, it is started or it is discovered? When something is started, right? When something is started, someone had to start the English corporativo thing, right? Hubo uno quizás que le dijo, miran, yo quiero clases para trabajar. And then another one and another one and another one, but someone found it at the beginning, right? Maybe it was the first student. We need to investigate who was the first student. It was started. When something is stunning, it's extremely attractive. 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 Stunning, stunning. <laughs> like your teacher. <laughs> it's like something stunning. Me, you have to say. Cuando alguien le diga un ejemplo de algo stunning, solo se señala, se señala en su lindo rostro. Así que, this, <laughs> this is stunning, right? Yeah. It's the thing, gorgeous. 
Gorgeous. No, gorgeous is like uh, gorgeous is more like something beautiful. Okay. okay, that you say, no, she's gorgeous or he is gorgeous because you can use it for both. You can use it for boys and for girls, but it's more related to beauty. Mm -hmm. Stunning is like when you say like, wow, it gets your attention, right? For example, imagine that, okay, imagine that this is, this is uh, a big diamond and you say, oh, wow. And it's a stunning, it's shiny, it's wonderful, it's beautiful but it gets your attention on the moment, right? And gorgeous is the same when you see someone really beautiful and you say, hey, she's gorgeous, okay? But it's more related to the beauty, not to the attraction. And okay. stunning, it's for the attraction. You say like, wow, so, right? Like when you come to El Salvador and you see the beach for the first time, it's stunning, it's beautiful, right? So it is attractive. When something is ancient, I know what the ejemplo, okay? Forget it. <laughs> when something is very old. Very old. It is very, very, very old. old. Very old. Very ancient, old. like El Tazumal, right? That it has, like, it has been there forever, right? Ancient, right? Ancient, ancient, ancient. It's very old. Right. And don't say your grandmother because ancient is more, 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 more like <laughs> longer than that. It's not like, no, it's not like I, your oh, teacher, no. Ancient is like 100, 300, a million years old. That's ancient. Okay. Ancient like the rose. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. But ancient, but really ancient. Right. Like yeah. the Rolling Stones. Okay, para que una piedrita se haga redonda, por eso se llaman las Rolling Stones, it has to roll for many years until they get that shape. So, ancient, ancient. What is something ancient that we have in El Salvador? No, all the rings. Ajá. Uh -huh. no. El Tazumal. Eh? El Tazumal, the ruins, right? Joya de Seren, all those things are ancient, right? What else? Probably called bosses. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or the volcanoes. The, vol really? <laughs> the volcanoes, yes. The volcanoes are ancient. The Cotepeque right? Lake. The Cotepeque oh. Lake is ancient, right? Because we, we have it since the eruption of that volcano and it just appeared and etc. But it happened a lot of years ago. Many, many years ago. When something is complementary, it is free of charge free of or charge. expensive? Free of, free, of free of charge. Free of charge. It is very common in, uh, in November for the Black Friday. You say like, uh, if you get this bottle, you are going to get this notebook for free. And it's complimentary and you don't pay for this one. You pay for it, but it, they say that you don't, right? But it's free of charge, right? It's free of charge. It's complimentary, right? Complimentary. And when something is gooey, it is thick and sticky. Thick and sticky. Thick and sticky. Gooey is like, what is it? Have you touched the slime? ¿Te han tocado el slime? Ese ese como nuevo juguete de los niños. Yes. Yes. That is like that is like gelatin with plastilin. It's yeah. like yeah. it's very horrible, right? It's thick and sticky. Or oh, okay. when you are going to make rice pupusas, for example, cuando van a hacer pupusas de arroz, when you are cooking uh, yes, the dough, good. it's thick and sticky, and you are like, oh my god! <laughs> and then you have <laughs> to continue uh, digging on it, but you have to continue working the dough. El queso de las pupusas. Exactly like that. And the yeah. cheese also that you have to that you have the to work cheese. it out the cheese very good job so here we have right the beaten path uh, founded stunning so that's new vocabulary that's something for example that you need to collect on your notebook right todo este vocabulario nuevo que van adquiriendo mm -hmm. es bueno que lo vayan anotando en su cuaderno ustedes vayan haciendo su colección de vocabulario then you can use it in a phrase okay. lo pueden ocupar en una frase and you can say for example stunning Say, uh, I went to Guatepeque Lake and it was so beautiful and stunning that I fell in love. 
Okay. You can use it on a phrase. Okay. Ya, ya. Pueden hacer su banco de vocabulario, pueden usarlo en oraciones y you pueden know. utilizarlo. Right? So that's the important part. It's not like, ah, si termina la plataforma, mire, tic, 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 tic. That's it. No, right? Write down the vocabulary. Investigate. Okay? Si de repente usted dice, gui, pero que gui. Go and investigate on the dictionary. Okay? Go online and, and find the meaning. It is always necessary. Okay? And it says, where can I find it? Eh, Eric, todavía no has, ya, ya, ya ubicaste, Eric, ¿dónde está el material de trabajo? Yes, sure. Yes, Thanks. okay, good. If not, I can, I can share, the, I can share it on the, on the WhatsApp group. I, I don't know if I can do it. I mean, because it's too heavy, but I can, I can see if I can share it. Okay. And here we have the Kimchi Museum. I am going to do this in, in class. I mean, for you to read it, but we can do it right here. Let me just move it a little bit. The Kimchi Museum. And it says, if you don't know about Kimchi, a trip to the Kimchi Museum is an eye-opening experience. What is an eye-opening experience that you are like, oh, wow. I mean, you, oh, you want to open your eyes as much as possible for you to see everything, right? It's like when, when you visit a new place. It's an eye-opening experience. Es una experiencia que te abre los ojos a nuevas culturas, right? That is an eye-opening experience. Here it is. Okay. The museum was founded in, 18, in 1986 to highlight Korea's kimchi culture. The exhibit includes displays of cooking utensils and materials related to making, to making, storing, and eating the famous pickled vegetables. The museum also provides details about the history and nutritional benefits of Korea's most beloved side dish. A side dish, what is it? ¿Qué es un side dish? Uh -huh. ¿Qué sería esto? Esto que es a side dish. Mm, no, what is the meaning of side dish? Por ejemplo, en El Salvador comemos pollo, arroz, Acompañamiento. verduras. Exactly, right? It's a complementary part of your dish. If you eat, for example, for lunch, chicken, rice, and salad, chicken is the main part of your of your dish. Rice and salad are the side dishes. <laughs> Son los acompañamientos, right? And side here, dish es el con qué dish. El con qué, exactly like that. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> or in some cases, you say like, what, what do you want to choose as your side dish? And here you have tortillas, you have rice, you have salad, <laughs> you have avocado, you have cheese, you have so many things to choose. Yeah, it's like, hoy, hoy voy a comer poquito, solo tortilla, aguacate, queso, arroz, y en <laughs> And the chicken, <laughs> and maybe the chicken is just that, la little piece. But that's a side dish, right? And they finally stopped by the souvenir shop. What is a souvenir? Souvenir, uh -huh. remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Remember, a souvenir, well, a souvenir is something that you bring back mm. from a trip to remember the trip, right? <laughs> <laughs> or remembers, you say, no. <laughs> For example, this okay. one, this one is a souvenir from when I visited the University of El Salvador, of Eseng, right? So it's a souvenir. I got it there. And I was like, yeah. Teacher. Yep. My shirt. Okay, that's a souvenir. Okay, that was a souvenir from where? My alma mater. Very good. <laughs> I went there. I started there. Yeah, and for sure, I have uh, other things. I, I got this souvenir from a friend from Thailand that has some Thai words here. It was a sticker, but it was very beautiful. So those are souvenirs, things that you bring for you to remember your trip. Okay, that's a souvenir. Teacher. Then, yes. I I throw that kimchi was just a food. I I learned is much the yes. kimchi about the kimchi. I I heard that it was different, but no, you see, kimchi is actually the side dish, and it is like the pickled vegetables, right? They are like different types of vegetables, and they make the kimchi with this. And now they make kimchi soup as well. So it's like it's a very wide variety of this one. The Museum of Gold in Bogota, Colombia. <laughs> A la cornucopia le gusta esto. <laughs> the Museum of Gold. If you want to see beautiful objects, the Museum of Gold is the place. 
It holds one of the South America's most stunning collections because the exhibits sparkle so brightly you can actually you can actually take photographs without using a flash on your camera because the uh, the place is really bright right um, not everything is made of gold though right not everything is made of gold though in this case when you say though it's like mm, oh. no obstante right no todo está hecho de oro that's the meaning of though at the end not everything is made of gold though uh, among the exhibits are ancient pre-Columbian items. Many of them are made from a mixture of gold and copper, known as tumbaga. What is the meaning of copper? Cobre. Cobre, right? There you go. And the chocolate museum. The chocolate museum. I am going to read it and I am going to ask uh, Mr. Boris to help me with the first Teacher, excuse paragraph? Me. I, uh, yep. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Continue. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, sorry. okay, Alejandro is going to help me with the second paragraph then. <laughs> ya tengo voluntario. The first paragraph from the chocolate to South America, and then Alejandro from A to Tooth, okay? The Chocolate Museum, Cologne, Germany. Go, Boris. The Chocolate Museum will teach you everything about chocolate from the cocoa bean to candy bar. You learn about chocolate 3,000 years history and discover how it was once used as money in South America. In South America. Okay, good, 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 good. very good. Alejandro, go ahead. Ouch, Ouch I'm sorry. A real chocolate uh, factory shows you how chocolate is made. After you finished, the tour you can sample as com a complimentary drink of rich, gooey, pure chocolate, perfect for those with a sweet tooth. Okay. Excuse me. Perfect of for those tooth. with a sweet tooth. What is the meaning of a sweet tooth? Que tiene placer o gusto por lo dulce. Alguien que le guste lo dulce, he has a sweet tooth. Right? Tiene un diente dulce. It's not good that you have a sweet tooth, right? But it's, you like the, the sweet things. Nadia, yes? No, I like the toxic chocolate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. From what is the name of this very famous place? The, it, there, is a, there is a bakery that has it. In where, T-shirt, excuse me? Here where? in El Salvador. Uh -huh, Daisy. Ah, la Meller. No, no. <laughs> Hay una pastelería que tiene un pastel que se llama El Tóxico. That it's made oh. of chocolate. Chess André. Chess André. Chess André. Chess André. Yes. They the see... better are the bonbon. <laughs> yeah. Bonbon is the best for me. Yes. They Chow's see... chocolate t-shirt. <laughs> yes, they see... the, the chocolate is a plant. Yes, it is indeed. <laughs> It is indeed, it is a plant. So you see, you're eating salad. <laughs> it's like, es, es planta, es vegetal. <laughs> you can use it. <laughs> That's salad. Entra en la dieta, doctor. <laughs> okay, so you have the chocolate museum, right? Museum will teach you everything about chocolate from cocoa bean to candy bar. You will learn about chocolate's 3,000 year history history and discover how it was once used as money in South America, also in El Salvador, right? We used to use cacao as part of the money sure. thing. Oh, by the way, in Miss Universe, they, they had this cacao dress with the oh. of El Salvador. A real chocolate factory shows you how chocolate is made. After you have finished, after you have finished, right, you finish, you have finished. Right. The tour, you can sample a complimentary drink of rich, gooey, pure chocolate. Perfect for those with a sweet tooth. Okay, so that was our reading about the different places and museums of uh, these unusual museums, right? And it is really, really beautiful. Here, we are going to go to the next part. And in this next part, right, that is the second section, okay? Here we go. And you have three exercises as well. 
Tienen tres ejercicios. And in this one, we have the use of past continuous and then past tense, right? In this case, you have two forms that it's the topic of this week. When you have, for example, it was, I was doing something when something happened and interrupted it, right? So in this case, we use ing in one and simple pass in the other one. But we need to know what happened that interrupted the action. In this case, you say, my brother was snowboarding what? when he broke. 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 Because it's a simple pass, right? When he broke, okay. yes, broke. When he broke his leg in several places. Oh my God. Okay. ¿Qué acción estaba pasando primero? Snowboarding. He was what? snowboarding, right? He was snowboarding, yes. And then, flash. Blush. Uh -huh. Gosh. He broke. he broke his leg in several places. You can say, I was taking a shower when you called me. That's why I didn't answer, right? A las cuatro de la mañana te bañas. <laughs> yes. Uh <-huh. laughs> I was taking a shower. That's why I didn't answer, right? Several years ago, several years ago, I, I was having problems with math. So, ¿qué hicimos para solucionarlo? I found, I found, I found a teacher. I found a teacher. I found a tutor to help me. Okay. I was having problems. And you say like, I know, I cannot do this anymore. And I found a tutor, right? Yeah. The next one. The couple. Uh, uh, had their first uh, house. Okay. Okay. Very good. You, you cannot say. <laughs> in the chinny farm. Okay. The couple had. Their first child, child, okay, not when chill, they, child. They were living, were living. When they were, were, living, living. were living, when, living. when, when they were living in a tiny living. apartment. ¿Qué pasaría si yo le digo, the couple was having the first child when they uh, were living in a tiny apartment? It is oh. not possible because you would be like, eh, eh. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> Estaban teniendo al niño. <laughs> and that's not possible, right? ¿Dónde firmo el apartamento? No, right? It's not possible. In this case, because it's an action that happened, right? Uh, uh, before, right? The couple had their first ch uh, child, not chill, child, when they were living in a tiny apartment. Very good. The next one. So you have to analyze the sentence as well. It's like, mm, no, this is not possible, right? Well, while I... I realized I was on the wrong realized, on the wrong side of realized. the road. Okay, I I realized, right? I realized. I realized. <laughs> you I you cannot wrong. say I was realizing, right? I me estoy dando cuenta. No, it's not possible. It's like you realize at the moment that you were on the wrong side of the road, right? When I was driving, while I was driving in Ireland a few years ago, I realized I was on the wrong side of the road because they drive on the other side. The next one, Ulrich, Ulrich was reading, was reading. Was a good reading. book. Don't do that, people, please. It's like, ah, uh, I, I, I read it already. They die. <laughs> I watched the movie. They die. <laughs> Everybody dies, right? If you if you see Avatar 2, please don't say the, the end because I mean we want to watch it if you haven't, right? But don't tell the ending to people, right? While they, my, die. they die. <laughs> Everybody they die. They die. They explode. <laughs> While my mother was cooking, was While my cooking, mother was cooking dinner last night. Dinner last night. The phone. The phone. Three times. Three times, right? The three phone times. rang three times. What happens to the mothers if they call you? And they don't answer, hmm, my God, 
<laughs> but if you call them, they never answer. Nada. And they, I was busy. I was busy. <laughs> they don't answer. So yes. that's why it ran three times. She was cooking. What about the next one? Tracy and Eric. Tracy, Tracy and Eric meet when we're working. We're working. We're working. At the work day. Day. When they were working. When they were the working. Same we're working. When they were working. working. When they were working. In this case, you cannot say they were meeting, right? Nos estamos conociendo. No, right? They met. Ya se conocieron. They met when they were working at the same restaurant in Vancouver, right? Very good. So that was the exercise. You have to choose the two forms of the verbs for this one. And let's go with the next one that we have here for section number two as well. And it says, what you lately? It says like, what have you or what have you been doing have lately? You. Okay. What uh, have uh, you, you been doing uh, lately? Right. In this case as well, you have to choose two choices, right? What have you been doing lately? What is the meaning of this? ¿A qué se refiere esta pregunta? What have you been doing lately? ¿Cómo, oh, la, yes. ¿cómo la traduciríamos? ¿Qué has hecho últimamente? ¿Qué has estado haciendo últimamente? Sí. Uh -huh. ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. What have you ¿Qué been has doing? estado haciendo últimamente? ¿Qué has estado haciendo últimamente? In good Salvadorian, it's like, ¿y qué onda? ¿Qué has hecho estos días? What have you been doing lately? And you say the same answer. Nada, lo mismo. <laughs> it's like, what's lo no. mismo? <laughs> It's like, lo mismo. And it's like, but yeah, but what? What's, what's the same, right? You never know. Well, I, well, my time I have I been, have uh -huh, been spending. 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 I have been spending my free time, spending. time, time spending at the beach. My free time at the beach. What perfect. a nice thing, right? That's perfect. I cannot say the same, but yeah. Yeah. Cuando tengo el tiempo libre. I can lavar. <laughs> I have been spending my free time at the laundry, <laughs> at the beach. The next one. You work part time you, this year. Have you, have you, have you been, been working? Have you been working, you been working part time, part -time, time this year? year? Excellent. I estado trabajando. Have you been working? Medio tiempo, part time this year. Okay. What about the next one? Yes, yes I. Have. I Yes, I have I have been making drinks at coffee time for the past few months, right? I have been making. Estaba haciendo, right? How you how have how you how how have been you feeling recently? Feeling recently. 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 Okay. How have you been feeling recently? And say, ah, tired, stressed. I don't know. Happy, right? Maybe you are totally complete, right? Amazing, you say. Great. I, a lot of sleep. And... As much since I started my diet, I have been getting, I have been getting, getting, getting a lot of sleep. And I, and I haven't been eating as much since I started my diet. Very good job. And I haven't been eating as much since I started my diet, right? January is the month of the diets and the uh -huh. exercise in the gym. <laughs> and then Holy Week, <laughs> Torre, Jajocote, Mango. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready. For me, no. Oh, no. Next. <laughs> no, sorry. Valentine's. Valentine's is coming. Chocolates yes. and food and salgamos y amigo secreto and all the, oh no. <laughs> no. So I have been, I have been getting. The next one, you enough exercise lately? 
Enough, you say enough. Enough. Enough exercise lately? Have you been getting enough exercise lately? No. <laughs> okay, okay. No, I haven't. I haven't, right? No. Me hará efecto así el gimnasio, dice. Así como, así sin ir. <laughs> no, I. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't. I have I have been studying. No, I. For a big exam. Okay, it says, studying. I have Be, been okay. Sorry, I, uh, <laughs> sorry studying I, I, with white. I chose the incorrect one. Sorry, it was my it's bad. A, yo, yo puse la que no sorry, <laughs> studying. Yeah, okay. I have been studying. There you go. And then you have the perfect points for this one. <clears throat> it's to see if you are paying attention. Yeah, because I'm putting attention. That's good. The last one. And here we have a reading about child prodigies. And it says, of a child prodigies that are the ones that are more intelligent than the normal child, right? So these are the child prodigies. And here we are going to go over it. And before we are going to go over the answers for you to remember, and then we go on the reading. Los que ya la terminaron van a recordar obviamente muy bien sus respuestas. Do you remember how do other musicians describe Sara? The yes, the most wonderful person. Violinist. 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 Very good. Violinist. Who gave Sarah her first violin? Her father. Her father. Her father. father. Her father. Yeah, violin doesn't have a G, okay? Aquí es un error de dedo de la plataforma. Violin. No, mm. violin. <laughs> Where did Sarah go to school? Yes. Julia, school, school of music. Uh, school of music. Of music. What did mm -hmm. doctors tell Michael's parents? He might have learned He might have learned it. That's the same. Every time that a student is more intelligent or more, I mean, well developed mm -hmm. than the other groups, they say, no, se enfermo, le va a costar. Instead of giving them the best uh, strategies for them to work better. Whose work has Alexandra's been compared to? Picasso. 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 Right? She has been compared to Picasso. So this is the first two sections. We're going to read this one during the week. I'm going to use this reading on an exercise in class. But this is basically the two sections that you should have completed by now uh, on the platform. For sure, if you can, if you can continue, to sections three in the midterm exams, that's perfect because most of the exercises are similar, okay? Exercise three has uh, three exercises as well. And as you can see, they are not that complicated, okay? In this case, you have a uh, comparisons between ING and ED adjectives. It's like Johnny Depp is a very amazing actor. Ok, and you can keep on choosing on the platform, ok. Un día, pónganse así como acabamos de agarrar ahora la plataforma. Váyanse por todos los ejercicios and complete them. You will see that you will tell me, teacher, I finished the platform already. Ya terminé la plataforma. So, uh -huh. there yeah. It just, just start going and going and going and going and you will see that it's going to work. What is the, the difference here between the... Ok, Alejandro, tell me. You said, what did you say about Johnny Depp, teacher? It says that he is an amazing actor. And, and how is related to that with our class? I don't understand. <laughs> it's here. It's on the platform. It's in section oh. three. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hey. it's section three. Okay. Ah, lo caché. <laughs> lo caché. No, no. No, no, no. Oh, it, it's in this yeah, one. I was yeah, telling yeah. you that you can continue to the next sections, que pueden seguir ya en la sección 3, 4 y 5, y okay. ese es el primer ejercicio de la sección 3. Okay. La diferencia entre los, eh, entre los adjetivos que ocupan ED y ING. And the first example is Johnny Depp is an amazing actor. What is, what is the difference between amazing and amazed? 
Amazed is how you feel. And amazing is how the other person develops, how the other person be uh, behaves, right? She sings amazing, right? I am amazed by her singing, right? Amazed is que yo me siento así. Amazing is how the other person performs, right? But that is something that I will explain in depth later on in class. So, but you can advance on the exercises. And if you have a question, remember to come back to the group and say, chicos, me traventa el ejercicio. And we can help you with that, okay? So that will be, uh, from this, that will be um, all on the, the platform. Please advance, okay? You should have completed more than sections one and two. Ya terminamos sección uno y dos. Si no la habían terminado, pues es, es ahorita vayan y terminen algún ejercicio que le faltaba, pero yo sé que ya lo tienen listo, okay? So, before I forget, I'm going to call the attendance. Le voy a pasar lista antes de que se me olvide, antes de que siga y cualquier cosa pase. I will do it. Thank you for your audios. I was listening to all of them. Thank you. And if you are missing still uh, to send me the audio, you can do it. I really, really enjoy listening to you practicing your English in Bogaru. That was really, really nice. I do enjoy it. Alba Colombina. Present. Thank you. Alejandro Jose. Present, teacher. Alicia Guadalupe. Ana Filomena. Present teacher. Andrea Geraldine. Present teacher. Andrea Michelle. Present teacher. Blanca Marisol. Present teacher. Boris Martin. Here teacher. Thank you. Brian Isaac. Present. Denis Isaías. Daisy Carolina. Present teacher. Dina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Elba Carolina. Present teacher. Eric Ernesto. Present. Erika Maidel. Present teacher. Francisco Alberto. Iris Regina. Is here teacher. Thank you. Jenny Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jessica Janet. Jessica Janet. Jose Eraivin. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Eduardo. Present teacher. Katia Graciela. Present teacher. Maritza Isabel. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nadia. Present teacher. Thank you. Noemi Alicia. Present teacher. Ricardo de Jesús. Ricardito. Thank you. Por ahí, it's fighting. With it. Thank you very much. Ahí lo vi peleando con el micrófono. Okay, the next one. Here we go. And Chan. Okay. Eh, Ronald Antonio. Present teacher. Sara Naida. Present teacher. And let me see. Okay, Ronald, Zaira, Sara, and Vidal. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Jessica, Janet, if I miss you, no? Teacher. Yes. Dennis, right in the chat. Oh, he wrote on the chat. In the, was okay. the WhatsApp chat. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Veamos, let's see. Because Sorry, he don't teacher. have very... <laughs> He, he doesn't have a strong signal. Thank you very yes. much. You are my eyes. I love that. That's so beautiful. Son bonitos, así que. You are my... <laughs> Francisco Alberto. ¿Se me perdió por aquí? No. Okay. And Jessica Janet. That was the only one who was missing. In Alicia Guadalupe? No. Okay, so my dear class, uh, tomorrow we are going to be working a little bit on exercises on past continuous and past simple. So we are going to be using on that topic, we are going to be working on that uh, part, section number two, right, unit number two, right? Maybe the class is a little bit behind on the platform, but that doesn't matter, right? Nosotros, yo porque le voy explicando ya los temas un poco más a detalle, mañana hacemos ejercicios acerca de simple past and past continuous, pero ustedes pueden avanzar todo lo que quieran en la plataforma. Si mañana la terminamos, hashtag everybody's Ana, that will be perfect, okay? So oh. that will be for tomorrow. Remember to send the audio during the day. Sorry that I, I didn't send it that early today because I thought that I had done it, but I did it. 
So I will send you the next topic for tomorrow. Listen to your friends' audios, okay? Escuchen los audios de sus amigos también. Eh, for you to practice and for you to listen to more vocabulary. So eh, without further ado, thank you. If you haven't worked on the platform, go and finish it. And uh, that will be it for uh, this class today. Have a wonderful night, my dear students. If you need any help, I will be pendant of you on the chat, okay? So I am going to see you tomorrow for the next class, my dear students. Yes, teacher. Have a wonderful night. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you, my dear class. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. See you. See you tomorrow. <laughs>